the opening scene, we are introduced to an Italian hitman named Leon, who lives in New York City's Little Italy neighborhood. He works for a mafia leader named Tony, because of course that's his name, who operates the Supreme Macaroni Company retail store. Currently, Leon is tasked with a mission to dissuade a gangster known as Fatty from encroaching on Tony's territory. In the next scene, Leon proceeds to track down Fatty at a hotel, where he forces a receptionist into notifying Fatty of his visitor. Sensing a potential threat, Fatty alerts his henchmen, who then wait for him outside the elevator. As soon as the elevator door opens, they open fire, only to realize they've shot one of their own. Following this, the henchmen scatter in search of the assassin. Chaos ensues, and Leon, being a professional fighter, takes out the henchmen one after another. Eventually, he traps Fatty in a room and eliminates the remaining henchmen. Terrified, Fatty dials 911 for help, but before he can speak to the police, Leon appears from the shadows, brandishing a knife at his throat, compelling Fatty to shut up. Desperate, Fatty offers a substantial sum of money to spare his life, but Leon dismisses the offer and instructs him to make a call. Tony answers on the other end, threatening him to leave the city. As per his orders, Leon makes sure that Fatty understands the message and then lets him go. Later on, Leon buys some groceries and returns back to his building. As he climbs upstairs towards his apartment, he sees a lonely 12-year-old girl named Matilda Lando smoking in the stairwell. He notices a bruise on her face and asks what happened, but the girl lies that she fell off her bike. In reality, Matilda lives with her dysfunctional family in an apartment down the hall from Leon, and she is frequently beaten up by her abusive father. Matilda's father works for corrupt DEA agents who pay him to stash cocaine in his apartment. That same day, the agents, who discover that someone has been stealing the cocaine, confront Matilda's father in his apartment. One of the agents, named Malky, pressures him to confess, but Matilda's father insists that he's innocent. Seeing this, their drug addict boss, Norman, turns around and sniffs him. He says that he believes him, but nonetheless, assigns him to find out the culprit by tomorrow at noon. Leon overhears everything from his room, but doesn't intervene. The next morning, Matilda's family is going through their usual daily routine. Her father oversleeps. Her stepmother prepares for work. Her half-sister exercises while watching a fitness program, and her four-year-old brother plays with his toys. Shortly after, the parents are making out in the bathroom when their landline rings. Matilda answers the call and discovers it's from her school. Assuming her mother's identity, she's informed by the school administrator that Matilda has been skipping class for two weeks. The administrator demands an explanation or threatens expulsion. In response, Matilda claims that she's dead. No better way to skip than by being dead. Elsewhere, Leon begins his day with his typical routine, exercising and tending to his plant before leaving his apartment. He goes to a nearby theater to watch his favorite classical Gene Kelly musicals. When he returns, he finds Matilda outside her apartment again, bleeding from her nose. He offers her a handkerchief, and in return, she decides to buy him some milk. He looked like he needed it. While Matilda is out shopping, Norman and his armed henchman break into her apartment. Norman grabs a shotgun and ruthlessly shoots Matilda's family, starting with her stepmother and half-sister before reaching her father. Amidst this, her younger brother hides beneath a bed. Norman orders his men to search the entire house for the stolen cocaine. During a momentary distraction, Matilda's father uses this opportunity to reach his shotgun and open fire. Frightened, the little boy attempts to run away, but tragically falls victim to the gangster's gunfire. As Matilda's father runs out of ammo, he tries to flee, but he's fatally shot by Norman. A short while later, Matilda returns from the grocery store, only to find her father's lifeless body outside. Reacting swiftly, she bypasses her own apartment and rings Leon's doorbell, begging him to let her in. Although hesitant at first, Leon eventually opens the door and lets her in. Leon still stays at the door with a gun in his hand, taking a precautionary motive. Not long after, the gangsters find the hidden cocaine, after which they leave. In the aftermath of these events, Leon 
Dawn offers condolences towards the girl. Matilda claims that she doesn't care about them, and she's only crying for her innocent brother, whom she loved very much. Leon attempts to cheer her up in a childlike manner. Thankfully, it works, as it brings a smile to her face. Later, Leon inquires if she has any place to go, to which she responds in the negative. Before long, Matilda discovers Leon's profession as a hitman, so she begs him to take care of her and to teach her his skills, as she wants to avenge the murder of her brother. In return, she offers herself as a maid and a teacher, as Leon appears to be illiterate. However, he brushes her off and tells her to sleep. He doesn't know what illiterate means anyway. The following morning, Matilda brings up the same offer again, but Leon again declines, asserting that being a fighter is not a suitable occupation for a girl. In response, Matilda uses one of his firearms to shoot down some pigeons, leaving Leon in shock. This act ultimately persuades Leon, and he agrees to train her. Later that day, the two vacate the apartment and check into a hotel. Upon their arrival, the receptionist asks Leon to fill out a form, knowing that he can't read or write. Matilda volunteers to do it on his behalf. Starting from the very next day, Leon begins training the girl. At first, he teaches her how to use a rifle, emphasizing its advantage in maintaining distance from the target. He then takes her to a roof and helps her find the right position. For practice, he tells her to hit whoever she wants, because the gun is simply loaded with a paintball. Following his guidance, Matilda shoots a jogger, and her first attempt turns out to be good. As a part of the training, Leon assigns Matilda physical exercise, such as crunches, and encourages her to drink milk despite her reluctance. In exchange for the training, Matilda carries out errands for Leon, cleans the room, and also helps him learn to read and write. She also makes him drink milk too, because this movie is one big advertisement for milk. Amidst this, Matilda notices Leon taking extra care of his plants. As a result, she remarks on his affection for the plants, and Leon responds responds by explaining that it's like his best friend, because it doesn't pose questions and lacks roots, much like him. Matilda suggests that if he truly cares for it, he should plant it in a park and let it thrive. As the days pass by, the two of them begin to enjoy each other's company and eventually establish an emotional bond. Over time, Matilda starts to look up to Leon and slowly develops romantic feelings for him. She often expresses her love for him, though he doesn't reciprocate, because she's 12, let's pump the brakes here. One day, Leon goes to meet with Tony, who has kept all the money he earned over the years. As Leon was illiterate, he didn't want to deal with it, but now, he seems to need it. Tony suspects that he now has a woman in his life, so he advises him to be careful. He further assures Leon that his money is safe with him, and tells him to ask for whatever he needs. Before departing, Tony assigns him to a new mission, which Leon agrees to. Meanwhile, in the hotel, Matilda talks to the receptionist and claims that Leon isn't her father, but her lover, which leaves the man astonished. Hopefully not a jealous astonished, more of a call the police astonished. The next day, Leon sets out for his mission, while Matilda returns to her now restricted apartment. However, she sneaks inside and collects some of her stuff. She also retrieves a bulk of cash that her father had hidden in a secret place. Just then, she hears someone entering the apartment, so she quickly hides herself. It turns out to be Norman and two senior detectives. The detectives question Norman about the incident, and he feigns self-defense. After a brief discussion, the detectives depart, and Matilda follows Norman in a taxi. It doesn't take long for her to discover that Norman is a DEA agent. Later in the day, Matilda is watching cartoons when Leon returns with blood dripping from his arm. Before he can head for a shower, the receptionist knocks on the door and throws them out of the hotel. Following this, the duo checks into another hotel, where Leon takes a shower and stitches a wound in his chest. Afterwards, Matilda offers him some cash and asks Leon to execute her brother's killer. However, Leon refuses to take the job, and also doesn't allow her to do it, asserting that revenge is not good. He explains that life changes irreversibly after one commits murder. In an attempt to make her point, Matilda proposes a game of Russian roulette, with the condition that if she wins, she gets to carry out the act. Leon says that she'll lose, because he has already heard the round in the gun. Despite this, the girl proceeds to pull the trigger, but Leon manages to push the pistol 
wrestle away at the last moment. These two are gonna get kicked out of a lot of hotels. After this incident, Leon takes Matilda to Tony and requests the mafia leader hire her. Tony is clearly hesitant as she's just a kid, but Leon somehow manages to convince him to give her a chance. Following this, Leon takes Matilda on their first mission. They approach the target's room, and Matilda convinces the man to open the door. Once the man unlocks the door, Leon breaches the chain and breaks in. After a thorough search, Leon instructs the man to stand still. He proceeds to teach Matilda the proper aim and lets her shoot the man with paintballs. After this brief training, Leon shoots the man before leaving. From that day onward, Leon and Matilda work together and follow the same approach to eliminate several targets, one after another. However, at one point, Leon hears a target preparing a firearm inside, so he quickly pulls Matilda to cover, preventing potential harm. He tells her that they should use a grenade in such a case. He then tosses the grenade inside, blowing off the apartment. One day, Leon goes to see Tony, and he looks nervous for the first time. He tells Tony to give all of his money to Matilda if something happens to him, and Tony agrees, saying that he can count on him. Later, Leon gets ready for his next mission, but he decides to go alone this time because it's a big one. While he is away, Matilda remains at home, tending to a plant, watching television, and thinking of revenge. After a while of deliberation, she decides to carry out her vengeful mission independently. Following this, she fills a bag with guns from Leon's collection and sets out to kill Norman. She bluffs her way into the DEA office by posing as a delivery girl and slowly makes her way to the gent's restroom. There, she is ambushed by Norman, who orders her to put the bag down. He questions her about her sender, to which she asserts that she's acting on her own to avenge her brother's death. Their conversation is abruptly interrupted by one of Norman's henchmen, who brings unsettling news of his friend, Malky's death. It turns out that Leon was the one who killed him. Disturbed by this revelation, Norman orders his man to take Matilda to his office for the time being. When Leon returns back to his apartment, he finds a note from Matilda mentioning her intentions. Concerned for her safety, he rushes to the DEA office and rescues Matilda, killing two more of Norman's men in the process. The same night, Matilda tries to seduce Leon, but he rejects her advances because she's 12. Instead, he shares his own story of how he became a hitman. At the age of 18 in Italy, Leon fell in love with a girl from a wealthy family, but his family was poor. The two made plans to elope, but the girl's father discovered them and killed her out of anger. Leon killed her father in revenge and fled to New York, where he met Tony and started working for him. In the evening, Norman and his men pay a visit to Tony. He expresses his rage as an Italian hitman has gone rogue and is killing his men. He desperately wishes to meet the hitman and asks Tony about his whereabouts. Tony? who has his family captured, ends up revealing the location. The following morning, Matilda is returning from the grocery store, probably carrying milk, when she is captured by an NYPD ESU team sent by Norman. They take her hostage and ask her if there's any code to infiltrate Leon's apartment. In response, Matilda gives them the wrong code. When the officers use this incorrect code to knock on the apartment door, Leon becomes alerted. The armed officers enter the apartment, but they find no one inside. Leon, who is hiding right above the entrance, in a dope pose, closes the door and kills them. Upon learning of this, Norman summons extra backup and surrounds the entire building. Despite the overwhelming odds, Leon continues to take down the officers. Eventually, he manages to take an officer hostage and frees Matilda from their capture. As they slink back into the apartment, Leon creates a quick escape route for Matilda by smashing a hole in an air shaft. Matilda initially refuses to leave without him, but he he reassures her that he'll meet her at Tony's place in an hour. He finally confesses his love towards her, but platonically because she's 12, before letting her go. Moments later, the ESU team blows up the apartment before breaking in. In the chaos that follows, Leon disguises himself as an injured ESU officer and sneaks out of the apartment. He goes unnoticed by everyone except for Norman. As Leon makes his way out through the hotel lobby, Norman follows him and shoots him from behind. Unfortunately, this proves to be fatal. With his last breath, Leon presses a grenade pin into Norman's palm, saying that it is from Matilda. Norman opens Leon's vest, only to find a cluster of grenades, which instantly detonate, killing him. In the aftermath, Matilda goes to Tony and tries to convince him to hire her as a killer. However, the latter flatly refuses to hire a 12-year-old 
world girl. As promised to Leon, Tony hands her a hundred bucks as an allowance and sends her back to school. Fortunately, the headmistress readmits her after Matilda reveals what happened. In the final scene, Matilda walks onto a field near the school and plants Leon's beloved houseplant, allowing it to grow freely. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.